stories told here. Today, I am going to explain a drama, fantasy, horror film, called Wish Upon. Be aware, the video contains spoilers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and help the channel grow. Thanks. A lady, named Jo, throws away something. Her daughter, Claire goes to check a nest down the road. After 30 seconds of biking she decides she had enough exercise for the day and heads home. When Claire gets home, she hears her mother sobbing upstairs. She checks the attic and sees that her mother hanged herself. Claire wakes up as it was an old memory relived in her dreams. We see that the dog, named Max is still with Claire. Claire's father, Jonathan gets into a car with Carl. Claire prepares for school and gets on her bike. As she tries to turn around in the middle of the road with her bike to pick up the newspaper for her uncle, the not at all stereotypical high school bullies almost hit her with their expensive car. Claire falls with her bike, but at least her uncle doesn't have to take one step forward to pick up the newspaper. Claire gets to her school where he sees her dad and Carl dumpster diving. Claire asks them to don't do that at her school because it's embarrassing for her. Jonathan and Carl leaves and we switch to a scene where we meet Claire's best friends, June and Meredith. As Claire and June tries to put up a handmade banner, a guy comes and takes a upskirt photo of her, since this is how boys behave in high school. The bully from before, named Darcy, throws a Starbucks coffee at the banner to make sure, we know who are the bad guys. Claire then attends Chinese class where we see Ryan complimenting her handmade banner, but Claire adores Paul, the other bully's boyfriend. Jonathan finds a strange box while dumpster diving. While having lunch, Darcy, Lola, Paul and Tyler pick a quarrel with Claire as she dared laughing with her friends. Claire stands up and calls Darcy a smegma, which everyone thinks is hilarious. Darcy chose violence over debate and hits Claire. Claire hits her back and they get into a fight. Claire visits her neighbor Mrs. DeLuca and they talk about boys. Jonathan gives the box he found earlier to Claire. The box has Chinese writing on it and Claire can read only two words, wishes seven. As a revenge, Darcy posts Jonathan dumpster diving with the hashtag dumpster daddy. Claire wishes that Darcy would just rot, not thinking much of it. During the night, the box opens up and starts playing a creepy song but it closes right after the concert. In the morning, Darcy wakes up and sees her leg full of rash and gangrene. Meredith shows the picture of Darcy to Claire and even though Claire realizes what happened, she isn't concerned about her wish. After school, she finds her dog dead under the house. She shows a photo of the box to her Chinese teacher but the teacher tells her she needs to find scholar as the majority of the characters are written in ancient Chinese. Ryan overhears the conversation and tells Claire that his cousin can help her out. Claire mourns Max, but blinded by her love for Paul, she wishes that Paul would fall in love with her. The next day, Paul goes up to Claire and we see Uncle August slips in his bathtub and hits his head, but luckily the box has a sense of humor and only kills the uncle after he smashes his head on the tap on his way back up. As Claire gets home, she hears the news about her uncle and wonders what is going to happen with all his stuff. Jonathan tells Claire they won't be in his will, that's for sure. Jonathan and Claire gets into an argument about Jonathan keeping too much stuff in the house. Even for the second time, Claire isn't realizing the cost of her wishes and goes upstairs to wish that Uncle August would leave her everything. The next morning Jonathan gets a call that Uncle August left everything to Claire. Mrs. DeLuca congratulates to Claire before they move into Uncle August's mansion. Claire and the girls enjoy the money and go on a shopping trip. Mrs. DeLuca prepares dinner when the disposal stops working. She keeps putting her hands in there, so naturally, her hair gets caught in it and the disposal breaks her neck. While all this is happening, Claire sees the box opening and playing a melody. Jonathan and Claire share an emotional moment and talk about Claire's mother. Claire has a nightmare about the box and when she wakes up, she sees a man outside her bedroom. She runs outside but finds no one. The next day, she sees Paul breaking up with Lola in school. As soon as Paul dumps her, he comes up to Claire and asks her out. Claire asks Ryan about the price for the translation. They visit Gina, Ryan's cousin. Gina tells them that the box will grant seven wishes to the owner, but if the owner sells or abandons the box, the wishes will be undone. The box also has a name on it, Lu Mei. They look Lu Mei up on the internet. Lu Mei cursed the box to get revenge on her family's killers in 1910. She became wealthy and her enemies vanquished, however, she died in 1922 due to suicide. On her way home, Claire sees her dad still dumpster diving with Carl. Jonathan tells Claire he likes to hang out with Carl. Claire gets mad at him for doing it still. Claire gets home, takes the box out and as a responsible young adult, asks the box to make her dad cool. Gina gets the further translation of the box in email when the electricity goes out. 
Her phone has no service as well. The box starts playing and we see Claire's dad playing the saxophone like the Giga Chad he became. Gina tries to call Ryan and tell her about the translation but he isn't answering his phone. Gina then stumbles on a rug and gets impaled on a statue. Ryan visits Gina the next day and discovers Gina's body. Ryan asks Claire about the box and tells Claire the box requires blood every time someone wishes. Ryan questions her about wishing or not, but Claire lies and tells Ryan she doesn't know what he is talking about. Claire ghosts her friends for Paul, just as it's written in the big book of horrible teen movies. Claire gets home, completely shocked by how many lives she took with her irresponsible wishes. She knows that the next wish has to be something important, that can change lives. So she wishes to be the most popular girl in school. Paul invites Claire to a party and she is more than happy to go. Everyone thinks Claire is the coolest person ever walked earth. Paul kisses Claire before she heads home. Claire wakes up in the middle of the night and sees someone again, she runs out to check who was stalking her through the window. Claire thinks someone is following her because of the music box, so she hides it. Claire visits Mrs. DeLuca and finds her body. Claire gets sad and tries to talk with her old friends. Claire invites them over and tells them how the music box works. Meredith tells Claire how childish of her to use wishes for such things. June and Meredith calls her a psycho for keeping the box and wishing even though she knew people are going to die. Claire goes to a party where Meredith and June asks her if she threw away the box or not. She lies that she did. Claire finds out that Paul was the stalker in her window. Claire breaks up with Paul when the box starts playing music. Claire admits to June that she still has the box. Meredith is in the elevator when the elevator stops working and falls off. June tells Claire everything is her fault. Ryan shows Claire the previous owners of the box. All previous owners of the box became successful, but shortly after their fortune changed, everyone around them died and they committed suicide. Ryan tells Claire that after seven wishes the demon claims their soul, as a final price. Claire tells Ryan she wished five times already and lies again about not knowing the consequences. Ryan and Claire tries to destroy the box but it seems impossible. Claire hides the box and goes to sleep. Claire wakes up during the night, Paul stands at her bed and cuts his own wrist as he doesn't want to live without Claire. In the morning, the ambulance takes Paul but Claire and Ryan discovers that the box is gone. The doorbell rings and people's worst fear is at the door. The IRS. Uncle August hasn't paid taxes for 10 years so Claire and Jonathan has to move out and leave the wealth behind. Claire gets back to her everyday life where she is unpopular and poor. Claire sees the music box in June's locker. June probably went to the upside down to steal the box during the night of Paul's visit. Claire fights for the box and June falls down the stairs. Claire forgets that she isn't in the Lord of the Rings and threatens Ryan that she will use a wish on him if he won't let her keep her precious box. Claire lost her mind from one day to another and wishes that her mother never committed suicide. Johanna comes in with Claire's brothers and Jonathan, to wish her happy birthday. As Claire discovers paintings in the attic, she realizes that her mother also committed suicide because of the box. The box starts playing music and we see Jonathan is holding the ladder for Carl while he cuts the branches. Claire tries to run outside and warn her father but it is too late, the chainsaw falls and decapitates Jonathan. Claire runs upstairs and uses her seventh wish and asks the box to take her back to the morning when her dad found it. She wakes up in the morning, with Max on her bed. Claire asks Jonathan to let her go with them dumpster diving. Claire finds the box and puts it in her bag. Claire then goes to school and talks to Ryan. She asks Ryan to bury her bag and never open it. Claire kisses Ryan and as she walks away, Darcy hits her with her car. The cycle is complete and the box claimed her soul. Before the end credits, we see Ryan digging a hole, but instead of throwing the bag in, he takes the box out and hesitates. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing.